Optimus, Michael Moppy. Uh, number one, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I would like to begin by congratulating Their Majesties the King and Queen on a wonderful coronation weekend. The government worked hand in hand with the royal household on planning for this historic event, conducting over 20 multi agency exercises in preparation and hosting an unprecedented 95 heads of state over the weekend. It really was a triumph of pomp, pageantry, and pride in Britain. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Can I first of all offer my congratulations to the right honourable gentleman who's proven that being ginger is no barrier to being um, Deputy Prime Minister? And I hope to take his example with me very soon one day. And in the meantime, I look forward to facing him at Deputy PMQs to a bigger crowd in the future. And can I start by offering also my heartfelt commiserations as well to the right honourable gentleman who lost his own local Conservative Council this week? Those privet edges of freedom were not quite as secure as he once boasted. Yeah. So can I ask him whether he thinks that result is a reflection of the failure of his own local Tory party councillors or the failure of his government and the ministers? Yeah. Well, the right and right started off uh, so nicely. <laughs> you never know. One day the Labour Party might even allow a woman to lead its party. Yeah. Um, but what I would say is that in respect of both Hartsmere and indeed nationally, it's the same picture. While we in this party are focusing on delivering for the British people, they're, they're working out grubby, dodgy deals between uh, her party and other parties. We're focused on the British people, they're focused on their own political interests. No. Oh, Mr Speaker, the only grubbiness I've seen over the last 18 few years is about these dodgy PPE contracts, exactly. and I hope that the Deputy Prime Minister will start getting a grip of that, because the British public, uh, the local elections on Thursday revealed a lot, not only about the British public's rejection yeah. of the mess created by the Conservatives over the last 13 years, but also about the impact of the government's new voter ID right. regulations, which caused chaos and confusion exactly. at polling stations.